Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna test the remote play feature from my work. Uh, right now I'm like 20 or 30 miles away from work and I'm gonna be using LTE. This um, phone is connected to T-Mobile's LTE and like you can see, I have full bars, 4G, which is pretty good. Here in this location where I'm at, usually I get very good service. Uh, so over here I'm gonna go ahead and choose my Galaxy Note 3. Let's go ahead and connect. Uh, like you see over here is connected and let's go ahead and test. Let's go ahead and test the internet connection uh, speed. Let's go ahead and test the speed to see how good is it connecting. That's pretty fast. Okay. Like you see it's going pretty fast, pretty good. Good speed. Okay, so like you see, I'm getting 2.3 mega, megabits down and 700 kilobytes up, uh, which is not that good. Let's go ahead and test it again because uh, keep in mind, bro, uh, bandwidth is never the same. No matter how many times you try it, it's never consistent. Also, keep in mind, I restarted the PlayStation Vita so it could be, you know, fresh and as, as much as possible. Also, my phone, I also restarted as well. So, like you can see, it keeps changing. It's not very constant. But believe me, guys, I am getting good service on my phone. But let's go ahead and try the, the PS4 Link app. Go here, remote play. And yes, this is this is not the first time I'm testing a uh, remote play, um, but this is the first time I, I'm testing it away from home. And of course, Sony claims that you know for to get the best experience, you should do it in the same Wi-Fi network, uh, using Wi-Fi, of course, in the same network. Uh, at your home preferably and yes I recommend doing that as well I don't I don't think you're ever gonna get an awesome consistent great experience on the go right here it seems that it connected of course it's taking a little bit while over here still connected very good okay so it says could not connect to PlayStation 4 Let's go ahead and try again. Okay, failed again for the second time. That sucks. Uh, let's go back again to the network. Make sure it's still working. Let's go ahead and test again the network connection. Like you can see, it's connecting very fast. And look at that. Look at the speed download 5.5 megabits per second and upload 1.2 megabits per second believe me guys that is enough for the uh, ps uh, vita remote play to work let's go ahead and try again okay guys so like you can see this is the third time it fails and it kind of sucks you know um, let's go ahead and try a video, YouTube video, so you guys can see that my connection is pretty good enough to watch videos and all that. Let me watch a video from L the Geek here. Let's go ahead and try um, one video. Let's see Injustice Gods from Among Us. Yeah, look at that. So, like you can see, this is I'm using the hotspot feature. And it works pretty good. Very good quality. Look at that. Very good quality. So, it should be working good though. Uh, PlayStation Remote. And believe me, guys, it does work perfectly at home. Um, I did play at home today all day on my PlayStation Vita using the the PlayStation 4 on my PlayStation Vita all day and it worked perfectly great and look at this the the video is not even buffering oh well I just jinxed it now it started buffering but like you see let's go ahead and close this again and let's go ahead and close the app again 
Uh, let's go ahead and try again the connection for the last time. Let's go ahead here. Let's go internet connection here again. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Very fast. Sign in to the PSN. Connection download speed. Look at that. 4.4 megabits download. 1.5. Um, upload believe me guys that should be good enough um, here let's go test it again for the last time before I finish this video and look you can hear in the background all my my notifications popping in and of course I want this to work I have a PlayStation Vita and I work you know I'm trying to I it would be awesome to play at work but at work I don't have Wi-Fi so I only can rely on my on my hotspot from my phone, and not everywhere I go, I'm all I'm gonna have good service. Like right here, in this location where I'm at today, I always get good service. I always get good 4G, and I use um, you know I sometimes I use it to uh, use my tablet, and it works perfectly. And like I said, the remote play feature of the PlayStation Vita with the PlayStation 4, it's amazing when you're at home. It's amazing. And like I said, today's Saturday, the day after, today's Saturday? Yeah, yeah, Saturday. I, I was enjoying the PlayStation 4 through my PlayStation Vita. So like you guys see, guys, it's not going to connect. Believe me, it's not going to connect. So that's a bummer because I did actually was expecting to play a little bit of PlayStation Vita here, which kind of sucks. But uh, that's it, guys. Um, I'm sorry it didn't work, but I believe me, guys, I did want it to work. And like I said, right now I'm in the best location at work for my 4G LTE to work. And like you guys saw the, the connection speed test, it connected very fast to the PSN, to my phone, everywhere. And the speeds were pretty decent for for internet browsing and watching videos. So guys, I hope you guys liked the video. Sorry. Till next time.